Do you have a lighter shirt? Because this is, I look like angelically bright right now. No, you look great. Okay. You look great, it symbolizes you well. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Wright. I'm Jesus, apparently. And Jesus <laughs> is my brother and my Lord and Savior. I'm, I'm Anthony Alba. Well, today, my brother and I, we're gonna watch the trailer, the new Comic-Con trailer that released the, whatever, I'm saying this all wrong. The third trailer for Interstellar. Yeah, um, you haven't seen any of the trailers yet? I saw the tra the first teaser trailer where that country dude talking a lot in the trailer. <laughs> Matt Mark Matthew O'Connor. Yeah. yeah, I like the second trailer too. I still don't know what this movie's about. It's... I think it's about going into space. Yeah, that's about it. That's all you know? Yeah. Well, I, I, I think it's about entering a black hole. I'm sorry, I'm spacing. It's a, I think they're entering a black hole because huh. it's like this yeah. spherical weird looking thing and the Spaceships crossing the threshold. Can we just time travel to a part where I could have had a really good joke? Um, you said you're spacing. I'm spacing out, yes, I'm spacing no out. No pun intended. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. That's gonna garner a few laughs. Good old daddy taught us jokes like that. <laughs> All right. You just had it open. I know. All right, here we go. You have weird habits. I do. Why would you close it? It mainly consists of a lot of different drugs. Drugs, hookers. Really, The Wolf of Wall Street probably defines my life the most. Really? Yeah, we gotta wait for this ad. This is how raw it is. We don't download trailers. We watch it straight from the internet. Unfortunately, we can't skip the ad. It's a good ad. There's black people in it. Really showing diversity in our country right now. Frozen defines my life. Yeah, I would say Wolf of Wall Street and um, The Passion of the Christ. <laughs> That's two very contrasting moves. <laughs> We used to look up in the sky and wonder at our place in the stars. Now we just look down and worry about our place in the dirt. Go for main engine start, T minus 10. We must confront the reality that nothing in our solar system can help us. Nine. I've got kids, Professor. How long? Where have you gone? Eight. I'm asking you to trust me. Seven. Murph. You have to talk to me, Murph. Six. I need to fix this before I go. I have no idea when you're coming back. Five. Main engine start. Couldn't you have told her you were going to save the world? No. Four. And you become a parent. Three. One thing that comes really clear. Two. And that's that you want to make sure your children feel safe. One. trailers have the main character cry through a good third of the trailer. <laughs> no i mean the audio just cutting out like that I, I haven't seen that before like michael bay started the whole thing with um texas chainsaw massacre with blinking black mm -hmm. screen and then that became what you saw in every single trailer i'm sure we're gonna see a lot of that do you know how much research he did for that movie i don't know how, anything about nolan it. yeah i already did a ton of research i can't give you an exact estimate but I know for space look. travel. <laughs> yeah, because I'm I'm trying. I was looking looking at it. I was trying to figure out what kind of space travel he was doing. Because there's different kinds. If you're to be realistic about it, are you interested in this stuff? 
I am now. Okay. Well, there's something called the Alcabir Drive. A Mexican scientist back in 94 proposed this theory of a thing that instead of you, because you can't go faster than the speed of light. Okay. So, but what you can do in theory is bend space and time around you so that it's like you fold space and time and you move forward quicker that way. So you're not actually traveling forward, you're bending the space around you to move forward. So you'll cross the universe in an instant, bending space and time around you. That's the Alcubier drive. The other one is using um, wormholes. That's probably what that is, is wormholes. Is if you can stabilize a wormhole, you could jump to other parts of the universe. But in science, we haven't figured out a way how we would get back. Mm -hmm. or where we would end up if there would be ways to sustain life on the other side of that wormhole. Mm -hmm. And the other way is to uh, just, that, well, those are the two ways that I can think of. The other ways would, you would be, you would actually need to repopulate within the spaceship as if you are got a little mini Earth traveling through space. It, that's, that's not what that movie's doing. This family knows a lot about that stuff. Yeah. And like him and I just really study Space. It looks pretty. Yeah, no, it does look pretty. What I like about the trailer is that it seems like there's this really grand scope of a bunch of crap happening, but they have, they're mainly putting a lot of focus on Matthew McConaughey as just a character. And I don't really see that with a lot of Nolan films. Really? No, I mean like the character, like, I remember Inception, like, yeah, they didn't, what to say. no, the, the, the movie has good character, but the trailer doesn't really show you much of that. This one's really showing you like, no, you're gonna go on this journey with Matthew McConaughey. And he cries a lot. He's a big crier. Yeah. He cried for like the beginning. It looked like act one, two, and three, he's gonna cry. I'm not his biggest fan. It's good timing though, because he just did Mud and he did um, that movie where he had AIDS. Texas Sold Party. No, what? The Dallas Buyers Dallas Club. Bar yeah, that one. I tried being funny, it didn't work. Oh, okay. I missed it. Sorry. Yeah, but having that back to back, and then this is a good follow up. But in general, I'm, he's not my favorite actor. We did Magic Mike, which was good too. I didn't see Magic Mike. You and I can relate to that. That's yeah. what we had to do right when we turned 18. It was tough. Tough life. You grew up on the streets. You become a male stripper. No, this movie does look like a good time, I guess. I mean, they're not really showing you the adventure so much. I don't know if there's going to be a big adventure. It looks like well, there my, will be. My impression from the first trailer was that most of the movie was just all the drama leading up to it. So this is going to be like a build-up movie? Yeah. I was told that a lot of it is spent in space. Okay. So, I can't say by who, but I was told. If you wake up dead the next day, <laughs> you're going to wish you had told everyone who you yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for recommending that trailer, which was a total bitch to find, by the way. I don't know why it was so difficult. They took it off of YouTube. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe right here. And Anthony has his own channel, too, where they do reviews and they're short films. He's a badass fighter. You can subscribe right here. I just remembered uh, one other form of space travel. Good. Let's hear it. Okay. So there's these things called tachyons. It's a theoretical thing. They're theoretical particles. No one's proven if they exist or not. Okay. The idea behind them is they cannot move slower than the speed of light. They have a range of speed, but they cannot move slower than the speed of light. And if you were able to harness that and surround your ship in it, you could move faster than the speed of light, in theory, using tachyons. So you're saying you could like... I'm gonna laugh at my own joke. <laughs> Boldly go <laughs> where no one else has gone yes, before. Basically. But it's just a theory, and I think a lot of scientists don't think they're real. But there are people looking for them. They might find them. The cool thing about them is that, like, light speed can only move at one speed, the speed of light. There's no way to slow it down, it just goes at the speed that it goes, whereas tachyons have a dynamic range that they can play with if they were real. Anyway. I don't think they're using tachyons, I don't think they're using the Alcabir drive, I think they're using a warp, a wormhole. That's most likely what it is. That's, that is probably what I, that's what I was thinking, yeah. most likely that. Yeah. That's the closest thing we're, we've worked. That's the closest thing we are to cracking, moving faster than the speed of light, I think. Yeah, if there's one thing we're close to figuring out, it's that thing right there. Let's do some shout outs here. Me, me Lord Acklin, do a shout out for me because it's almost my birthday and I'm black. Oh. oh, got another black friend and I'm counting. I got three, three black friends. I'm working on it. You only have three? I'm trying to get more. Oh, oh no, I just made a fourth one. Go to New Orleans. Seven, that's her name. Go to New Orleans. Go to New Orleans. Yes. Meet black people. You will meet lots of nice black people there. They are awesome. But the then all I'm saying, like, black people are awesome everywhere. 
no, you yeah. can't take it back now. It's not like I can edit this. Okay, yeah. we're gonna keep it raw. All right. But yeah, black people rock, man. Last thing I saw of you guys was American Horror Story season three. What what happened in that? Oh, nothing. Just some black voodoo stuff and horrible that was that's shot in New Orleans. That's they, great. They were like they were like pointing that out to. I was in New Orleans last week, and they were pointing that out to us. You should go to New Orleans. Yeah, I would love to visit the set of. All those terrifying things that happen. I got photos for you. Is that a guy? I think so. Okay. Me lord. Is that a... Are you like... African? Like... Genuine African? That's mean. No. That's not what I meant. I mean like, are you from... Africa itself? Or are you African American? <laughs> that's what I meant to say. Because me lord sounds like... That doesn't sound like an African name. It could be an African name. It, it's not. Me Lord. I promise you. You promise? How it's, do you know all these African it's names? It's not an African name. It doesn't have a click in it. It's not an African name. It doesn't have a click in it. Like that. That what? Okay, that was racist. <laughs> that was very <laughs> racist. No, but I'm, I'm telling you that's not a, like a genuine African name. Like that's just a cool like YouTube name because he's Oh. Because he's awesome. Yeah, you're not authentic. Like Denzel Washington. <laughs> Andre Boyd. Been subscribed for weeks now. I feel like you get me, Ryan. I don't know. Give me a shout out. Veronica cracks me up, by the way. Love that chick, man. Keep it up. I love Veronica, too. I love Veronica, too. I would do things with her. Let her know that. Comment on her channel right now for me. Which one's Veronica? Veronica is the one from that 420 video I just showed you a few oh, minutes okay. ago. Yeah. She's cute. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> She's awesome. Sorry. You feel like you get me. I feel like I get you, too. You know what I mean? Like, this connection we have. It's rare. I, I feel like we're two individuals that become whole when we finally talk to each other. You know, you know? I concur. Yeah, yeah I've talked cool. to my brother about you before. Frequently, Andre. frequently. Andre, he's probably also black. I will not make assumptions. This is a black theme today. Me lord. If only it was February. I know. Gosh. I know. White History Month. <laughs> Remember how great white people are. No. Anyway, Andre, sorry. <laughs> Andre, you're awesome. You're awesome. We like you a lot. Thanks for subscribing and comment more and we'll talk. We'll talk. Because we get each other. Donald Hunter, Veronica and Ryan should be a couple. It would be awesome. And can I have a shout out, bro? He's not the trailer guy. I'm the trailer guy. We gotta go a little bit more manly. Now. Okay. No, it's gonna become Batman. Veronica and Ryan oh, should right. be okay, a okay, couple. Okay, 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 okay. No, I'm all nervous now. Okay, <laughs> come on. Veronica and Ryan should be a couple. It would be awesome. And can I have a shout out, bro? That's good, good, but a little bit too Keanu Reeves. Well, people say I look like him sometimes. That's what I like to tell people. <laughs> no, that seriously, the like trailer voice. Like no, because because I tell people I don't like to have a tan. I like to have the pale Keanu Reeves look. All right, that's not relevant. Donald, you are. You have a nice name. It reminds me of a a, a character I loved growing up. Mickey Mouse. See what I did there? I threw you off. No, I agree. Oh. Well, that makes sense. I mean, you can hear Donald, Donald Duck. Oh, Mickey Mouse, same yes. club. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's all relative. I know it's, it's awesome that you get a shout out, Hunter. Are, are you a real hunter? Do you hunt? It's kind of funny that his name's Donald Hunter, like a duck hunter. Interesting. Yeah. Like the video game. Exactly. Maybe you're the inventor of the video game. God, that, must, watch like, our that must have been frustrating growing up being like, called Donald. That would have been really frustrating, especially if you're like a nerd. Like, if your name's Jasmine, and Aladdin just came out, and everyone's making fun of you. I can't imagine the amount of people that call Donald, Hey, Sutherland, get over here. Right? 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 Mm -hmm. Well, Donald Hunter Sutherland, shout out to you. You stay classy, San Diego. You better watch Mocking Jay, because you're in it. Right. Um, you brought it back. It's called a callback. Yes. Called a callback. Comedy lesson number 14.